After I implemented the design of the form to create new artworks, I still had to do all the wiring that would actually make an artwork in the database. The first thing was to prevent the player, or a potentially malicious user, from sending a request with insufficient or dangerous data. My form now ensures you select between a sprite and a canvas, and that you enter a size that won't break things on the server. Since you can never trust the integrity of the client, you have to repeat the validation on the server as well. Once all the data arrives correctly, three documents need to be created in the database. The asset, be it in the old sprite or the new bitmap format, will hold the actual image information about the pixels and their colors. The artwork contains the metadata such as the title, the start date and the places on the internet where this artwork might be displayed. Every artwork also has authors, one or more artists, that created this artwork. Since I haven't implemented the bitmap asset yet, I decided to test everything with the existing sprite format. I tried to add support for importing color palettes from low spec, but I ran into some issues with an old version of Node, so I decided to stick with the Pico 8 colors for now. Even with the relatively small 64x64 64 64 size, Having 4000 pixels stored as objects in an array without order was enough to make the system struggle a bit. I also hit the limit of 2000 undo steps halfway through, so I had to remove the time-lapse history to finish the drawing. Everything worked out in the end, but all this is to say I really need the new bitmap format in the future. I'll see you in two weeks.